try and glue all these pieces together now and then we'll eventually glue it to the backboard and then we'll seal it sand it and stain it oh look at that seal it sand it stain it <laughs> oh, this is everything with you right next to me so alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go This is everything with you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go Okay guys, so we thought we'd do something extra special tonight and we thought we'd set up the bus and have a movie night. Well, actually, I set it up so Asha hasn't seen it yet, so I'm about to take her to go look at it. <laughs> I'm excited to see the surprise. I was trying to help set up and he was like, no, wait. <laughs> okay. Hey, look at the sky hat. Oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> this is amazing. Oh, I love this. You don't feel like you're in a school bus. <laughs> then I put the screen mesh on the, uh, <laughs> on the open. Nice and clever way to run all that. Oh, this looks so amazing. Sorry, I don't think you can see. Let me, there we go. This is so cool. You guys, how amazing is this? I love it. Scott knocked it out of the park again. I just brought in some of our movie snacks. I'll show you guys what we have. So first of all, you have to have popcorn, right? Have to have your go-to candies. Some red wine, some Sprite, and cheese bites. I also stopped by um, my favorite local bakery, Fresh Levant. They do all gluten-free treats and got a vanilla donut and a peanut butter jelly donut. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Hello, neighbor. He makes so a perfect Red Rogers. Did you see the special thing I brought in to show you? What's happening guys? So it is a miserable, rainy, cold day today um, here in North Carolina, but we're still going to get some work done on honey. We're just going to work inside. Um, it's crazy that I go from getting burned on last week's episode to now super cold and rainy. Uh, that's North Carolina for you, I guess. Um, anyway, I'm going to go into honey and get set up to continue work on our pop-out table. So this past weekend, oh, I just got caught in the wires. <laughs> got hit these guys. Uh, so this past weekend, uh, we actually had a movie night on the bus, as I'm sure you guys have seen by now. Uh, and so that was super fun. Uh, that was the first time that we actually had a legit movie night. Uh, we had a projector set up on the on a, a bed sheet, and we. We put all the walls up, made fake walls out of insulation and blankets, and uh, we had a great time. It was a blast. We watched A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, uh, the Mr. Rogers movie, uh, which we hadn't seen before. We've been wanting to see, and so I don't actually, uh, I wasn't brought up on Mr. Rogers, because, I mean, uh, with me being in England, it just wasn't a thing, uh, but I know Ashley did, but it was just really cool uh, for me, because obviously I know of Mr. Rogers, uh, but just getting to watch that and... Uh, see who he was and and yeah, he was just super super inspiring uh, really neat guy um, But anyway, the bus is kind of getting full of things. I don't know if you guys can see uh, We just have so much wood now and things uh, insulation left over uh, These which we are going to be using to frame out the wall uh, locker and then we're also just got like so many scraps of insulation and uh, wood uh, we just kind of like 
afraid to get rid of scraps because we just feel like somewhere down the road we're gonna need them and so we just kind of hold it on to them um, until until we use them and then I guess not if we don't use them we can just get rid of them um, but yeah uh, we're gonna be working in here today uh, hopefully we'll get to send down a table and start staining it and making it look all pretty Full stop can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening, and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be Child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things will be brighter. Then bring it down hard. Solid day. Put it together. What are you together. doing? Dance off, bro. Me and you. Okay, we are getting ready to stain this baby. Woo! Not him. This. So we decided to stain the wood different shades of like brown or whatever. And so we we're gonna go for it. <laughs> um, so we just sanded it all down and now it's stain time, baby. I feel like I'm in a really weird mood. I'm sorry. And it shows if I'm on it. guys I still have my mask on because the fumes are strong in here even though we have all the windows well most of the windows down but we just finished the dark parts of the stain for our table and it looks really good however the stain is way darker than it showed on the label um, we were hoping for more of a like medium to dark brown and it's pretty dark but it's looking so good Scott's testing out the gray right now to see if it's true to color. How is it so far? Very different than the other one. Uh, but maybe because they're both very different <laughs> than we anticipated, maybe they'll still blend well. But yeah, it, when we first were staining it on, of course it was really, really dark. But then even after wiping it away, it was much darker than we anticipated. <laughs> but it'll be fine. Okay, so that's a wrap for today. It's getting late, the sun's setting, it's pouring rain, and we have to let the stain dry and the wood filler dry. So until tomorrow. Okay, good morning guys. Today is actually bee day, world bee day. And so we're actually gonna take a break on honey and we're gonna do a special project for bee day. So stay tuned. Also, this is what our table looks like so far. So, like we said yesterday, it kind of came out um, a little darker than expected, um, but we're, we're super happy with it, and then we're going to put a uh, different shade in here. So we kind of wanted it to be subtle, not kind of in your face uh, with the logo and stuff, but this is the color that it was supposed to come out. As you can see, the drips on it are very, very different colors. Um, and then we got this one, uh, which is actually coming out more gray. So, but like I said, we're happy with it and it's looking pretty cool. All right, so happy World Bee Day. Not when you're watching this, but earlier in the week, it was World Bee Day. Happy and Bee Day. Like, <sighs> like birthday. birthday. Bee day. <laughs> and so today we're going to be working on a super fun project for our friends, the bees. And, um, and telling you guys more about the hive drive. So uh, for those of you that don't know, we are called the hive drive. Our <laughs> bus is called Honey. However, it's not because we're going to be planting hives and looking after the bees as much as we uh, look forward to doing <laughs> that one day. Um, it's more about the culture of what bees have created and just inspired within us uh, to try and create everywhere we go. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. 
Okay, so another big thing. I should wait till he's done for the night. Oh wait. We know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. So another huge lesson that we learned from bees is their ability to work together. Um, they're not just working for themselves, they're working for the good of the hive. And uh, Scott and I just feel so strongly that that's what community should look like. That we're all cheering each other on, that we're all working for the greater good together, and we're linking arms and doing it together. I mean, bees don't link arms, but you get what I'm saying. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through. <laughs> okay, as you might be able to tell by now, it looks like we're building some type of birdhouse, but we're actually building a bee hotel, or as we like to call it, a air B and B. Get it? Because like the bees, Airbnb. Airbnb. <laughs> so what's really cool about uh, bee hotels is uh, they're actually build them for uh, bees that aren't part of a hive. So like kind of like loner bees, bees that have wandered solitary off from the hive, bees. solitary yeah. bees. And and so what we kind of like love about this idea of making this is uh, that we created a place where the bees that aren't part of a hive, aren't part of a community, can actually form a community and belong in the Airbnb. Uh, and that's kind of one of our messages as uh, the hive drive is that we want to uh, create a place where everybody feels like they belong, uh, regardless of who you are, where you're from, your background, everything. Um, everybody desires to belong. And so we hope to create that on the road, a, a sense of community where everybody feels like they can belong. <laughs> Okay, you guys, what do you think? Ah, I think the bees are gonna love it. So we're gonna put it out where um, pollinators would go, where bees would go. And that way the bees who are solitary bees know that they have a home, they yeah. belong. So we have like a little uh, forest area uh, down our street. And so we think we're just gonna go and place it down there. Uh, but yeah, we're super happy how it came out. Uh, super quick uh, project, uh, not the best weather for it, but like <laughs> I know I said, it's pouring rain. <laughs> I think the beads are gonna love it. You guys, I just had a freak out moment. Why? Because I just saw this. I don't know what if you is can, that? No, Why you is can, that happening? I don't know if you can see it on camera. I thought our bus was smoking. Oh my gosh, it's from the laundry. <laughs> it's because of the, the dryer bin and <laughs> how cold it is. But, oh my gosh, I just walked out here and it's right in line with the back of our bus. I was like, why is my bus smoking? <laughs> oh, that was scary. One thing that I was saying about today's project for World Bee Day was that it's so nice just building and making something that doesn't need to be perfect. Like, just for the fun of it, it's very therapeutic, you know? Like, we're making it as good as we can, but you get what I'm saying. Like, with the build, everything's so exact, so precise. We need to make sure it's just right but to just create something was really fun. So let's check out our Airbnb. Okay guys, Airbnb. <laughs> We're also gonna put a Hive Drive sticker on it just because. So we gotta stick that on the front right there. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look so good. Okay, so I'm out on the bus and I don't know if you can hear right now, but it is absolutely throwing it down. Um, it's raining like crazy. Uh, we just came out here to check on the uh, bee hotel. Um, Ashley actually ran back inside, but I'm kind of like trapped in here right now, especially with the camera. Um, because no joke, guys, it is crazy. Let me see if I can show you. And it's like so loud on the uh, on the bus roof. Um, but since I'm stuck in here, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and just start masking out. Oh, <laughs> it's those same wires. 
<laughs> same, same freaking ways. Um, I'm actually gonna start masking out the um, the mountain area and the background and the bus uh, for the uh, different color stain that we have. Um, and so I'm just gonna mask it out with the uh, green frog tape. And so then we can at least uh, work on that and be productive while I'm trapped in here. We need more than hopes and wishes for us to make it through the night. Stormy weather, weary eyes, hope to make it through the okay, night. Okay, so I actually went ahead and... Uh, Finish staining it now I'm just gonna let it dry and then we can rub it down and then I actually got some spar urethane um, like exterior sealer that we'll then put on it and then we should be good to go uh, so let me show you what it looks like currently oh my gosh those wires again before this night is over I will guide you Okay guys, the weather is so much better today. As you guys saw, it's been raining like crazy, so we finally got a good day. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys where we are with our pop-up table, and then we're gonna go drop off our B Hotel. Okay guys, what do you here think? is our pop-up table. Um, and so, I think you'll kind of see throughout this video, we kept talking so much about the color and the stain, and I think I was trying to convince myself that I liked it. However, we eventually was just like, you know what, we put we so much work into this that we don't like it. So we actually uh, sanded it down and then restained it. And this time we really like the look of it, like legit this time. It's kind of it got a this nice like- rustic feel. Yeah, and it kind of, again, is not too contrasty, kind of blends real nice. And so, yeah, we're super happy. Uh, we'll probably end up having stools so we both can sit at <laughs> both ends of the table. But or... look, it holds like, it holds a lot of weight yep. and it's on these collapsible hinges. So that'll be perfect when we're driving and, and yeah. And so what's gonna happen is we haven't attached it yet because we got to treat the bottom of this. But basically, this will just drop down and they'll be like this at the side of the bus. I can be like Vanna White displaying <laughs> our table. So, hope you guys enjoyed seeing the process of that and how it all works. So, the only thing left for us to do is we got to seal the bottom, attach it, and then also uh, we're going to put like a polyurethane spray on top of it to completely seal it. And we should be good to go. But yeah, that's the project done. Woo! Okay. So off we go to this great little back 40 woodland area connected to our neighborhood. Okay, so we are in the little wood area <laughs> at the edge of our neighborhood and we're going to put it over by some of these beautiful trees and things that bloom. <laughs> Okay, so that is where we're going to leave you guys. Uh, we hope you had fun with us on World Bee Day and uh, finishing off our pop-up table. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. Uh, every like really makes a difference and we just appreciate it. And we'd love to hear from you. So drop a comment below. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know what's going on in your world. And you guys, we'll be back next week. Bye.